little bit behind. I had to grab my coffee. So enjoy the song for a second. Hello, Miss Erin. Okay. Yay, hello. How are you all doing? I can't talk anymore today. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a day. So, hello, hello, hello. Who's ready for the winner's circle? Hi, Erin. How are you doing today? I had to grab my coffee. And that's why I'm running a little bit late. So I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. Hope the world is doing good. It's extremely cold and windy and rainy outside today. I don't like it at all. So, anywho, uh, paparazzi's going to have some new releases pretty soon. We're so excited about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So, while we wait for everyone to get here and show up and all the good things that come along with it, um, why don't we take a look at something that I thought was funny? So this is this is from a contributor in my group. So Elizabeth uh, Gamboa, who was a paparazzi consultant, yay, showed up. Thank you. It's good to see you here with me today, Elizabeth. Um, she just joined Bomb Party. Here's a video. I do buy past. from paparazzi, but that's all I do. I buy the jewelry from them. But they're not my boss. They can't tell me what to do and when I'm going to do my lives or where I'm going to sell. I sell the jewelry however I want to. Another thing. So here's the person who was a paparazzi consultant saying, oh, you finally caught me on a live. Hi, Starry Sky. Um, she was buying from paparazzi back in the day. She's not buying from paparazzi anymore. I am so tired of this paparazzi drama i am so tired thank you barbara for sharing you didn't have to share but i'm just here if you want to listen and say i'm just here she's say, tired of the paparazzi i am drama tired of are. this all this paparazzi drama <laughs> she probably contributed to some of it i came to paparazzi to sell jewelry to have fun to have friends and family and people to have to come here and enjoy doing lives and selling and get extra money for me my kids people know right now i'm going through some things and this was one of the things that i was doing to pay my meds i don't have to do drama go in people's lives and share them out hi you're my friends this is when she was still an active consultant, apparently, Erin. So this is when she was still apparently an active consultant. And she's talking about how she is still an act, you know, still supporting others. And she doesn't believe in all the drama and blah, 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 blah. But um, she's no longer with paparazzi. But I find it very interesting that she has all the paparazzi Christmas ornaments hanging up behind her. I was going through a lot of things when I joined. And people know what I was going through. And I joined to have fun. I was having fun. But now, it's drama. People telling things. People coming to me and telling me things. Thank you. Thank you, Irma. And that's not fun. That's not fun. It's stressful now. It's stressful. It is so stressful. You can watch the, re uh, the replay or you're going to be hearing a, a, a couple things. One other things. I have people that clean things. Then they call me and tell me, oh, I don't want it. Or that, uh, no, you know what? Wait for me. Okay, I understand. I have the same thing. Sometimes I don't have. And I, they, I tell them to wait. And I understand. But stop telling me, hey, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and then ghost me out. I'm not the type of person that blocks people. I'm not that type of person. But I'm done. I'm done with all this drama. So this seems to be a common theme. Have you guys noticed this? Uh, this seems to be a very common theme among uh paparazzi consultants right now um it's it's really interesting how people are claiming on lives and then they're not paying their invoices and she's saying she's done too well yeah uh 
I'd be pissed about that too. And the thing is, apparently, I'm not an expert on Bomb Party. If you want to know what Bomb Party is all about, go hit up DC's channel. But um, apparently with Bomb Party, they have to purchase the product before it's revealed. So the transaction has to be complete before it's revealed. How did everything go? Are, is she increasing the dose? Yes, yeah, she's increasing. Yay! Okay. So anyway, so she's um she's done with that. Sorry, I just wanted to ask my husband how things went. I am so done. She's so done. Everybody here thinks everybody's their boss and they're not their, their boss. I'm my own boss. Everybody's their own boss. And if you guys right now want to call paparazzi and, and tell them, hey, she's telling a lot of things about them, go ahead. This video is going to stay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I haven't watched this yet, but okay. Yeah. Guess who plays boss over everybody? The lords and ladies of the kingdom. That would be the bling boss, the iconic impressionistas, uh, Andrea Hutchinson. They all act like they're the lords and saviors over your paparazzi business. But guess what? You're an independent consultant and nobody is in charge of you. You just have to follow the policies and procedures. And apparently, she be done. Because I am so tired of people texting me, telling me, calling me. And t telling me things. I am so done. I am so done. I'm going through a lot of things to have to be also hearing people telling me things. I am so done. I am, it's, it's too much. It's too much. This is my business. And I do it the way I want to do it. If I want to go lives. If I want to post pictures. If I want to do uh, people uh, face to face. That's how I do it. And you're not going to tell me, hey, you got to go live this day. You got to sell this much. No. I sell how many pieces I want. And how I ever I want. Okay. I love this truth too. So she's like, you don't tell me and dictate how I run my business. But yet they have, and we're going to do the winner's circle in a second. This is an excellent transition. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for posting this. But yeah, it's very interesting on all of this. Hi, Sam. Hi, Igor. If I want to post pictures, if you want to claim there, go ahead. I'm happy when people claim. Yes. I have my goals. Yes. And if I reach my goals, I am happy. But you, you do not have to tell me, hey, you have to sell this much. Paparazzi does not have to tell me, hey, sell this much. No. I buy from that. Yes. They're the people that supply me. Yes. But yet, <laughs> Aaron, that was what was so funny. The other day, uh, someone shared a video of E. Bling. We call her Blingzilla on my channel. Other channels call her E. Coli. E. Coli was live. She was wearing a cowboy hat and she advertised that she bought said cowboy hat on Timu during her live. And she goes, uh, I got this on Timu. But they can't tell me. I have to sell this much. Or I have to buy this much. So, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous of people telling me things. I have a leader. I have a sponsor. That if I have a question, I go to her. And she tells me. I don't need nobody else calling me and telling me I did this wrong. Because I have a sponsor. I have a leader that tells me. But that's the culture that paparazzi, uh, who has an earache? You have an earache? That sucks. I hate earaches. But that's the culture paparazzi, uh, cultivates. Okay. Uh, it's, it's the pa paparazzi is the party of tattletales and backstabbing, conniving little clicks. And either she's my sponsor, but she's not my boss. That's my, I'm my boss. Ooh, yeah, she, she called me and tells me, hey, today. when are you going to do Over your next life? She promotes me? Yes. Okay. But she doesn't tell me. She doesn't need to tell me that I'm, that she's my boss and I have to do what she wants to do. No. Because she's my sponsor and she's there to answer me questions. Exactly. It's called independent consultant. Glad she said so that. So I don't need to go through this. I don't need people to come Ooh, and tell me what to do special. and when to do it. And if I post pictures, if I post them wrong. If I do the, the description wrong. No. It's my choice however I want to do it. So I am tired. And that's why I came here. Well, see. I have 16 people. 16 people. When I'm, when I'm doing sales, I don't have that much people. But when I have to shout out in what I said, I do it. So Awesome. That's, There's people here. That's telling too. When she goes live to sell jewelry, she only has 16 people watching her lives. But when she, or she has less than 16 people watching her go live. But when she's bitching and moaning about paparazzi, 
people show up. Yeah, I can attest to that fact. It happens for me all the time. And there's people telling me if I rat it on them. I'm not the type of person that rats on people. Because I work in this same thing. I'm not a rat. I won't call paparazzi and tell them what you're doing right or wrong. No. You got the person, the wrong person. So point your finger in another person. She's Find not out a rat. whoever did it. I'm not the ratter. I don't call at people and tell them, hey, she's doing something wrong. No. I'm there on your life. I'm there to support you. Not to rat on you. Not to tell you what you're doing or what you're doing wrong. If I can help, I'll help you. And Jessica, I help her out. And she That's another interesting tell, too. Do you guys remember last year when they did the hashtag paparazzi celeb hashtag paparazzi started or starred? Or what was it? Paparazzi spotted. Sorry, that was one. Paparazzi spotted, paparazzi celeb. Do you guys remember when they had those hashtags last year? And uh, Misty Trent, Channy Ryan, and corporate team would be going on Facebook and looking for those lives with those hashtags, and then they would talk to you during those things. Yeah, that was a thing, y'all. That was a thing they did, and I think it was a way to see who's keeping up with compliance and who's not. So new releases just dropped, so let's take a look real quick because we're doing FOMO, and I want to make sure we get everything, so... Let me start at the top. We've got a stupid Timu denim flower. Move on oval is not new, but look, it's making a comeback, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's move on oval. Uh, Dauntless Demure, that's not new, but it's in the new releases category. And then we've got some blue thing and Lux layers in white. Again, that's not new, but okay. And we have the, uh, they call me mom. And some butterfly thing. Do we have any new rings? I'll read your comments in a second, y'all. Swatch your step. Because everyone wants a paint swatch ring on their finger. And then, and this live is going to be super duper short. Because I have a doctor, a virtual doctor appointment later today. But thankfully it can be virtual, so yay! All right, so we're at 11 new releases so far. And then, oh my gosh, now they're available in yellow. So anyway, hi, Melissa. <clears throat> so let's see what else we've got going on. I'll say hi as I see your comments, but I've got two screens that I'm monitoring right now. And we have some sort of like life of the party bring back piece. It's so cute and so fun. And then what else do we got? X's and O's. Okay. So let's go up to the top, make sure I got it all. And then I'll put it on the main screen. Got everything on that row. Got everything on that row. Nothing on that row. Where's the bracelet that's supposed to go with that? That didn't drop? Or did it already sell out with the elites? And then what else do we got? All right. Um, I think we got it all, y'all. Oh, I missed this bracelet. Oops. Okay, so yeah. So let's go in. There's 17 new releases today. These look like some of the same pieces I sold years ago. Erin, they probably are. Because move on, Oval. I have a gunmetal and silver in my closet. And move on, Oval was one of those pieces that I got in my double hostess rewards during the month of February that everyone's like, ooh, ooh, ah, you better stock up before they sell out. So yeah, uh, that piece in brass is probably not going to sell. That's my thought on this. But let's take bets. I'm guessing Locket Leisure in blue is going to be one of the first ones to sell out. And then the Seasonal Socialite Floral Foxtail, which you can get on Timu in Denim Flowers, by the way. And of course, the Life of the Party Bring Back piece will probably sell out really fast. And then Lux Layers, I am in Whimsical Wardrobe. 
So we still have two minutes, so I'm going to save that image and save this image. And Dauntless Demure is another one. Um, I got a kiss. <laughs> oh, kisses are so fun. Oh, look, this Urban Update cuff would go great with Move On Oval. And then Pearl Palooza is a is a piece that we had when I was a consultant. The only thing that looks new is the stupid ring. Let's start the fair. Ooh, ooh, oh. So I'm just saving all the pictures so we can look at them before they sell out. And then we'll show them all on Timu later. But that might be tomorrow because, you know, like I've told you guys, I have a doctor appointment. So uh, let me go into this one real quick because I want to see this sucker close up. Wow. So it's a neck mess. It's a single point of failure neck mess in purple and in coral. And then we've got this thing. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Look at how great that chain is falling in the picture. It's such quality. And then Timu special right there. Amazing quality. And then uh, what's the other one? Where's the other one? Emily did something and she can't remember what she did. This one. I wanted to see this one. Yep, I had that when I was a consultant. So there we go. So uh, 25 seconds to go. And then 25 seconds to go, girl. The thing is moving mighty fast. All right, so um, do we want to do chicken dance or do we want to do something else? I don't know. What, what should we do? Um, let's do spring my step. Okay, the music is doing the FOMO factor for us today. Yay! So, what do we think is going to be the first thing to sell out? I will tell you this. Move on Oval will not sell out. And I'm guessing that these ugly earrings in the yellow with the teeth uh, that looks like the angry monster mash mouth, <laughs> that's not going to sell out. Um, I'm guessing everything... I'm just gonna take the move on oval down because I don't think it's gonna sell and I'm pretty sure they call me mama isn't gonna sell, but everything right here in the top row, minus that Dauntless Demure, is gonna sell out today. So, as we've been seeing you guys, um, over the last couple of months, actually, um, the FOMO factor is not as FOMO-y as it used to be. And it's really interesting that the fire symbol, we're a minute in, and the fire symbol hasn't even started going off. In fact, the fire symbol, still not going off. It's really, really interesting to me how, ooh, we're a minute and a half in, because I've got my timer up on the other screen over here. So a minute and a half in, and the fire symbol finally starts. Wow. Oh, Ellie does that every day with us, Sam. So anything move out? I removed two pieces. So what was the first piece to go? The blue heart locket thing. And then what else went? Oh, I can't remember. I gotta pull up the pictures. The denim flower is still there. The blue heart locket is still there. The neck mess is still there, but the butterfly is gone. So yeah, things are selling out today, you guys. So they're falling for the FOMO today. But yeah, I'm I'm just watching, and we'll see. This is still there. Life is so cute and so fun. I still cannot believe the people fall for this. And they're doing their capsule jewelry collections and buying all these basics that they honestly don't need. Sorry, I drink all the coffee, honey. I stayed up late 
last night, you guys, watching School Spirits. Have you guys ever seen that? I binged watched the entire thing. Oh my gosh. I just kept going and going and going. All right, so let's go back to um, the lady that just left paparazzi for bomb party. We have a, a minute and a half left of this. She knows, because she did a video of me saying that I helped her out on doing her ideas. I do ideas. I tell them what I did and how I did it. And if it works for them, I'm so glad. I'm glad to help people. And if I see them struggling, I, was the same I help them out. What I can and how I can. So was that's she what I want to say. Is my question. I'm not a rat. You got the wrong person. Find out who did it. She has a crown. And when you find out, I hope you scream it out and tell that person. Don't keep it to yourself. Because if you keep it to yourself, other people are going to be thinking other things. So, hmm. that's what I had to say. Put your finger in another person. Find out. And I'm my own boss. Put your finger in yes, another Yes, I am person? not going to be doing lives no more. I'm done with this drama. There's a lot of ways to be doing sales. And I'm done. I'm done. I came to paparazzi to have fun. Not with this drama. I don't need this drama in my life. <laughs> I want to have fun. And if I sell good, if not, it's okay. But I came here to have fun. Not to be with drama. Hi, and not to be accused of being a ratter. And reporting people. Because I'm not that type of person. That being said, that's all I have to say. I love that she did the mic drop at the end. But I... So... The title of this video, again, um, she recently left um, to go to bomb party. Uh, Elizabeth Gamboa said she's done with the pap paparazzi drama. It, it's really funny. And if you want to start from the beginning, go back and, and play back. But she's done with the drama, y'all. She's like, I'm done. I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm out. That, that cracks me up. She's like, I'm so over this shit. So, yeah, I thought that was funny. So, um, so yeah, Paparazzi had a bunch of new releases. Uh, so, Pink Diamond Alert, this was under Kristen's team. But it didn't have the pink on it, did it? Let's go and see. It's already sold out. Um, but the one that I downloaded, the picture that I downloaded of that, do you guys see pink? Do you guys, I, 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 I don't, uh, uh, don't think that's the same thing. It, it doesn't look like the same thing. Um, and I was looking under Kristen Ivanelli's store because look, there she is right there. So, um, uh, Tina issue there, truth in advertising, <clears throat> epic fail. So there's that. What's in the last chance category? Nothing but initials because they lost their popularity pretty damn quick. Okay, so the fire symbol started at about a minute and a half in. So we'll see in a few minutes if it's still going strong. But that's not the picture that was under the black diamond bring back piece. That was. So... <clears throat> Paparazzi, I think it was a bait and switch. I think Cindy said it right. And then here's a denim flower. Easily obtainable on Timu. As I showed when we saw this picture during the Empower Me pink process. And then these ugly things. And then I don't know what's going on here. But here's a better picture of them. Look at the quality. So cute and so fun. Anyway, let's go to the winner circle in a second. Okay, technology is always changing. It can sometimes be hard to keep up with the latest developments. Share your most recent tech challenge and ask Jeff and I for tips. I wouldn't ask Jeff and Ryan for tips. I would go to my tech-savvy husband before I went to the two, and this is my opinion, most boring people on the planet. Uh, ever. Okay. So let's go to the winner's circle because this is the title of today's live. And let's see what uh, Trent is talking about today with Summer.
All right, so no music, really? No music at all? It is, I love Wow, they didn't even have the winner circle music, you guys. They were sad. All right, so um, I forwarded, paused, took a screenshot, put it on the thing. Hello and welcome to Winning Wednesday. We're excited to be with you. It's always great to be here on Wednesday. It is. I love Wednesday. Did, did Trent drink a Red Bull before he got started today? I mean, he has energy. Shocking. Okay, I'm doing the voice because I want to be snarky. So, last uh, week we mm -hmm. challenged you to get in, learn the it Premiere is, app, uh, test it out, just yes. try it out, Have see, fun with see it. Uh, you know, what you can do with it. It's a great system to run your invoices through, to process different uh, inventory products. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's readily available to you. And it's a great tool for Emily to see how much inventory you actually have and to see how many pieces you actually have and run an average of how much debt you put yourself into and how much dead money you have. So yes, please keep using Premiere. It's an amazing thing for me. Um, and quite honestly, it's very easy to use. It is, and it's also no music a means person. It's a fun way to track to see oh, think are my about customers it. buying more necklaces or are they buying more bracelets or earrings? If that's your sort of thing, there's all different ways you can use. I gotta go back. It. Sorry, I gotta... person, it's a fun way to track my customers buying more necklaces or are they buying more bracelets or earrings? If that's your sort of thing, there's all different ways you can utilize it. But invoice. You know what's funny, you guys? Um. They have lapel mics on, but it's really quiet because I've got it turned all the way up and I can barely hear them. So it's like, mm hmm. Okay. So, yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> Epic fail. Invoicing it is a great, or using it for your invoicing is a great way. Yeah, and really, I, I haven't gotten in to really uh, use it as far as this, what I'm about to say, but <laughs> you could probably figure out. So, this, this pisses me off. I don't really use it, uh, but this is what I'm saying. And, uh, you know, since I'm the founder of this company, you should take what I'm saying as truth. But, yeah, it's like, he's like, I don't really use it, but here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Um, practice what you preach, Trent Kirby. Out if there's days of the the week that are better than others right. uh, statistically, right. there uh -huh. uh, whether it is, you know, certain customers, these customers like earrings, these customers like necklaces, mm -hmm. and then you start to cater your lives to what the data shows you. Right. I'm one of the we're well we're well, we we're one of those uh, number of weirdos uh -huh. that uh, like to analyze the data. That's fine but, for us. Um, either way, yeah. continue to use the, uh, to get in and learn more about yes. it. The, uh, dorks unplugged, they uh, they're the headed somewhere this week. this week. I don't remember exactly where it is. So the dorks are going somewhere this week and I just have no clue. This again tells me how checked out from his own business he has become. He has lost so much interest in this company because he doesn't know where the dorks are going. He hasn't used the product that he's telling you to use. Um, he doesn't promote his product by wearing his product. He's extremely low energy. It's like, are you tired? Are you done? Because if you're done, stick a fork in it. But you can go to the website, uh -huh. see where they're at. Hopefully they're close to you. I would recommend stopping in, learning more. Uh, you can ask questions there. Yeah. I would recommend you stop in, pay us more money, give us the more cash grab because I need to collect a little bit more out of this bleeding turnip stone or whatever so I can close up shop and take your money and go. Yes, they have an open, uh, open forum where you can ask any of your questions, they'll answer them. And so you can look on dorksunplug.com and you can find out all their locations that they have, they have upcoming. I think they just announced two more maybe last week. And so they're always announcing new stops. So if they haven't been to your area yet, they may be coming soon. Yes. So, all right. So let's talk about this wow. week's challenge. I'm actually excited for this one. I like, that makes it sound like I'm not excited. I was going to say, wow. Them. I know. I like. Actually, <laughs> she's finally excited, people. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. I do like our challenges because I'm I am a very challenge driven person. Challenges make push me and make me go a little bit more. So this week I have I'm chosen that we're going right to do now. you're gonna pick a bill and it can be your bill or if you want to involve your customers in it, you can have them pick a bill, but then you're going to go live and you're going to sell enough to pay that bill. With <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just moving the, okay, pick a bill, pick a bill, and go live, and sell enough to pay that bill. Okay, I challenge, this is, this is my weekly winner's circle challenge, okay, and I'm putting on the snarky light for a second. Um, I challenge all of you paparazzi consultants who have a credit card bill with all of your paparazzi purchases on it, all of them. And maybe you just use that card strictly for your paparazzi purchases. Okay, my challenge to you, paparazzi consultants, is this. Sell all the inventory you can to pay off that credit card in full. Okay? Go through your paparazzi premiere store and sell all 165,000 pieces of inventory that you own. Or all you know, 6,000 pieces of inventory that you own. Um, yes, Kimberly, you're right. This is why people quit because they weren't making enough to pay their damn bills. People are selling at an extreme discount and going out of business groups for a quarter to 50 cents a piece just so they can recoup a little fraction of what they paid for this shit. So this, this winner circle challenge is so out of touch and lacking so much self-awareness. But, the, but then again, how can we keep the lie going? How can we keep the guys going? Hi, Monique. Yay. Hi, friend. Um, how do we keep the lie going? We tell you that you need to go live and sell. Sell, 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 sell to pay a bill. But again, I challenge each and every paparazzi consultant who has an outstanding credit card balance that is full of paparazzi jewelry and accessories, and I challenge each and every one of you paparazzi consultants to go live and sell all the inventory you have, all of it, and pay off your credit card bill. I hope you can do that. So now I'm catching up on comments because I want to know what my gallery of amazing women and men, uh, think about this. But remember, all you sell is not all profit. No, it's not. Because you invested in more inventory. So whatever you sell, you have to pay off that bill. But guess what? You also have to follow the rule of the power of 15, right? In order to rebuild your inventory. I would love it if they would just say, sell what you have. Sell what you have. Sell what you have. Like Cindy said earlier, the older jewelry, that was when Aaron, me, you, Monique, everyone was a consultant. The jewelry from back in the day when we were consultants was better quality than the jewelry they're bringing out now. Okay? So when they bring out a new release piece of jewelry. Retail profit. With retail profit. Uh, like Move On Oval. I mean, ladies, this is a piece of jewelry that we had when we were consultants. It looks exactly the same as it did when we were consultants, okay? Featured inside the preview at One Life. Yes, One Life. The 2019 convention. The 2019 convention. The only good thing about this was the included earrings were actually somewhat decent. And they matched the necklace, but it's brass. Nobody wants brass, okay? But yeah, if you go under um, necklaces only and you look at the stuff they have, they have a lot of pieces from when I was a consultant, when you were a consultant, and the quality is better than what they have now, okay? Yes, it was probably toxic as shit, but it's better quality than the plastic crap they have now. All right, so good way to finish my work day. Missed y'all. We missed you too. Uh, sold my inventory for 600 when I quit. I took a huge loss, but I was done. I got a picture of my, uh, my sister sent me the other day. 
let me see where she sent it to me because if it's on if, if it's on my Facebook I can show it to you but if it's in my phone I can't so give me a second okay Lisa where'd you send it okay she texted it to me okay so uh can you guys see this? Brittany something. $480 worth of paparazzi necklaces. All brand new. Selling for about $2 a piece, which comes to about $195. It's an amazing price for consultants or customers. Selling in bulk must take all. $195 or best offer. Um... And uh, 96 paparazzi necklaces by Brittany. I looked her up. She's no longer an active consultant. But she's selling. It's sad. Oh, do, do, do. Yeah, I, I got mine gone because I was lucky. I needed my house back. My house was small and being overrun by paparazzi. You haven't taken a loss unless you sell for less than you paid. You can't make money during, you can make money during your exit. Yes, you can. Cindy, you are doing it smart and being patient and taking your time. Me, I, I, I had so much and we were stuck at home. I, I did so much to get rid of it. But you're doing it smart. Denise is doing it smart. So I'm proud of you two for doing that. Uh, they would never tell you to sell what you have because they wouldn't make any money. I know, Kimberly, but that's why I go live and tell you to sell what you have. <laughs> and my elite up line was always bye, 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 no matter what. Oh, Aaron, who is your elite up line? Um, are they still active? So answer the fir first question. Are they still active? Yes or no? And then second, what is, uh their initials or state you can do state or initials okay uh just have curiosity what did all your spouses think about your business and the money you spent on it my husband rolled his eyes and said i tried to warn you and she's not still active well that's good so uh, David rolled his eyes. We have videos where he talks about it in the past. Frenchie, I kept most of my purchases for my husband. I hid it in closets. Savvy Be Smart hid it in the shower in the guest bathroom. Um, my jewelry took a full bedroom. I have no spouse, no room for him. Yeah, because we have too much jewelry. <laughs> Hi, Airedale. Uh, I just bought a small jar of buttons. Plan to use them in my crochet. Nice. Did you get them on Timu? And then uh, my husband was very supportive, though, and followed my lead, uh, allowed me to get out when I knew it was time. See, that's the good thing. Ooh, A.G. OK. All right. She's all over YouTube, but she's not an active consultant anymore. OK. OK, so she's not an active consultant. Her initials are A.G. and she's all over YouTube. You know what I think of immediately when I hear AG? I think Ariana Grande. All right, so let's go back to this uh, bullshittery from Trent and Summer. But yes, and so and you'll bring it up, let your customers know what you're doing, and then it is a great way to engage them. Say it's your gas bill, and it's two twenty five this month, and so you you work it out, you do it, and you gas bill for your house or for your car. Like well, as soon as it's done, you can say, "We just paid my gas bill." or we just paid so-and-so's gas bill, or we paid this car payment, or we made the cable payment, whatever bill it is that you're going for, but your customers will get involved, they'll get excited, and they'll see how easy it is to sell the jewelry and to pay those bills off. What? <coughs> Sorry, um, um, everybody, I need red flags. I need red flags. I need red flags. And I'm gonna say it one more time. Let's listen to this again and hear this lie. This is such a lie. Oh my gosh. Get involved, they'll get excited and they'll see how easy it is to sell the jewelry and to pay those bills off. Yeah. It is. I'd pick a grocery one, they're high right oh, now. Oh, so high, yes. And so you could do that. Excuse me. 
Excuse me for a second. Red flags all over the place. Ugh. I mean, maybe that means I eat too much. But either way, they're very, very high. No, I feel he like does not look like he eats too much. You get to you get like four items at the grocery store, and it's 120 bucks. Oh, I know, I know. I don't know what you're buying though. <laughs> He's buying steak, lobster, filet mignon, and truffle oil to cook it all in. I mean, come on. Milk and eggs and cheese and whatever. I yeah. swear, it's just incredible. So, so have fun with this. Pick pick a bill. Involve your customers, whether it's your bill, their bill, however you're going to do it, but pick a bill, figure out how many pieces it is that you need to sell, and then work as you go live for the week. Um, okay, so pick any bill, work out how many pieces you need to sell. Are we doing summer and Trent math, or are we doing actual math here? Okay, are we doing summer and Trent math, or actual math math? Because I'm just going to I'm just going to put this out here. So we're going to finish this and I'm going to show the difference between the two. But yeah. Or if you do it in one live, then pick another bill the next live. But however you're going to break it down, pay that bill off this week. Yeah, see how many bills you can get paid this week. Yes, uh-huh. And your customers will have fun with it too. Yeah. So, all right. So for today's quote, I found this from Kobe Bryant. He actually has quite a few very good very quotes. good quotes. But he said to uh, everything negative, pressure, challenges, it's all an opportunity for me to rise. And I Ooh, so let's let's take up a, a quote from Kobe Bryant and say, don't be negative. Use it as an opportunity to rise above. Toxic positivity right there. I like that because sometimes we look at the challenges that we have or the negative. No, know, don't keep track of expenses. Sometimes we let it push us down rather than looking at it as an opportunity to rise. Like I said, I'm very challenge oriented and that is because I look at them as ways that I can be my best self, build myself better. You can do that with this build. Maybe going live is a challenge for you or if there's different th obstacles in life, you can use that as your challenge to rise up. Mm. Absolutely. So. All Absolutely. Right, we will see you guys next week. Have fun. All right. Um, okay. So I'm just going to X out of there. Now let's go to, who did I show the other day? Was it Crystal something? All right. It was Crystal Archer or something like that. Uh, Crystal. Yeah, it was Crystal Archer whose uh, bling store we were looking at. So let's let's take a look at Crystal Archer again. Let's go to her premier store. All right, because uh, she has a premier store. Um, the other day she had like 5,000, oh, she's, she's increased her store by over, gosh, she had like 5,923 pieces. Well, now she has 5,966 pieces. Good job at the inventory loading, sweetheart. I am so freaking proud of you. All right. So she's inventory loading quite a bit. Um, she's buying the ear cuffs that look like starlet shimmer. And let's see how many pieces she got of that. Holy shit. She has 23 pieces of those. Oh my gosh, Crystal, you're an idiot. Okay, so anyway, here's Crystal Archer. Let's say we have a bill uh, for, what's a bill for you guys? Let's, let's just uh, throw an average out there. Let's say we have um, a power bill for $150. Okay. So let's let's put that in here. $150. Now let's divide by the actual true cost. Okay. So you pay $275 a piece. And then what's the tax rate where one of you guys live? Because if I do my tax rate, I have to add 55 cents. So $275 plus 55 cents, so $3.30, okay? I'm reading comments again. Yes, Trent is a real peach. Yes, but you want to include what you spend buying the jewelry. That's what we're doing. Uh, she's wearing a Tom Petty t-shirt. I know, it's it's annoying. I need to get back to trying to sell my excess, but I have a full plate working. I, Monique, you need to focus on increasing your income. You can focus on selling your inventory later. All right, so... I'm going to go off mine. So $3.30. Now, if I 
spent $100 per order, then I got free shipping. Okay, so $3.30 per piece. All right, so I'm going to do actual math, not paparazzi math, okay? So I have a bill for $150, and I, I, uh, I need to figure out how many pieces I'm selling. So I sell for $5 a piece because I'm a new consultant and I'm not charging tax. So I'm just selling for $5. So I take the $3.30 that I actually paid for each piece. That's $1.70. Okay, so $150 divided by $1.70. I would have to sell 88.23. So 89 pieces of jewelry to pay that bill and not go into further debt. That's 88 pieces of jewelry. Okay, well, as we can clearly see, Crystal Archer could easily do that because Crystal Archer has over 5,966 unique items in her paparazzi premier store. And as we can clearly see, because I just clicked on the Ariel Advancement Ear Cuffs. She had 23 of that piece alone. And then she bought all of the mom birthstone post earrings that you can easily get on Timu for pennies on the dollar. And then she has all the birthstone beauty uh, necklaces. So you can clearly see she got everything from paparazzi and she uploaded them to her store. And she now has, instead of 100, and she still has 125 pages with 48 items per page. But that is ridiculous. Yes, but Frenchie, you live in, uh, you live in a country where you have universal health care and um, university, I believe, right? Do, Frenchie, don't you guys have uh, university? Uh, covered like the basic stuff where you can go to university and get a degree and um, you're not paying absorbent prices. I mean, that's just really, yeah. Oh, I know that's why elites don't use it, Cindy. But yeah, Frenchie, you live in a country where if you, if you needed to go to the doctor, you could. Um, if you had an emergency, they would take care of it. Um, if you had cancer, you wouldn't worry about going bankrupt. So you're lucky where you live. Okay. In the United States, we're taxed up to the hilt, but we don't get a lot for what we pay in taxes. I mean, we do get roads. We do get police, fire, water, sewer, um, libraries. We do get libraries and stuff, but we don't get the same amount of, you know, if we didn't have to pay out of pocket for our health insurance, if we didn't have to pay out of pocket for our university, and they put all of that in the flat tax like they do in Denmark, and Amsterdam, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and all the other countries, um, Americans would be a lot better off. But instead, we're being nickel and dimed to death, just like in multi-level marketing companies. So anyway, yeah. So Crystal Archer has a lot of bling in her paparazzi premiere store. But, you know, tell me that they're not inventory loading. Okay. The fire symbol is gone. It's been 30 minutes, so it's turned off. The seasonal socialite and a couple other pieces sold out. But it's pretty interesting how a lot of the pieces didn't sell out again today. So, interesting stuff right there. We have all these old pace, pieces, like elongated elegance and all the other stuff. So, I'm with you right there, Aradale. Yay, capitalism. Your daughter got a master's in cybersecurity for free. Well, she, you paid taxes. So, it was... And that's the other thing. Um, an educated populace is better off. And if more people were educated in the United States, I don't think we would be going through the problems that we're having right now. 
Good job, Sam. You have seven months until you pay off your last debt. Good job. How's everyone's emergency funds looking? Are you guys uh, fully funded on those? Most of mine goes to healthcare and medical equipment too. You have two more years of student loan payments. I know that feeling too. Monique, every time you get a bonus at work, you should just throw it at the student loan. That's what David and I did. Anytime he got a raise um, or a bonus, we would just pretend that that did, we would factor it in and just put that raise towards the student loan and continue living on the same amount until it was gone. And then we felt like we got a huge raise. And then we just started putting money into Smarty Pig. Instead of putting that money towards the student loan payment, we just kept it going to Smarty Pig. And that's how we built up um, our emergency fund. We now have almost 20 months of expenses sitting in our emergency fund. So that's pretty amazing, too. Ah, so everything is covered here. 50% are, are taken out. See, you're lucky, Frenchie. My medication, if we didn't have insurance, I wouldn't be taking my medication because it's $3,000 a dose. That's how expensive it is. And then my, my enzymes, my pancreatic enzymes, if I didn't have insurance, it'd be $600. Um, it'd be $600 a bottle. And then the pump... I wouldn't have the pump. I'd be using an old blood glucose monitor. So, yeah. It's, you know, I wish things in the United States would change. And I don't know if you guys have watched, um, there's a documentary on Netflix called The El Dorado. And if you haven't watched it, it is very interesting, okay? And let me tell you why. It takes place in 1920, 1930, Berlin, okay? And in 1920 and 1930, um, it was generally accepted to be LGBTQA, okay? And there were nightclubs that were really safe havens. But then uh, a certain regime, and I learned something from this documentary. I didn't, I didn't know that the SA and the SS were two different factors of, of that party. But the SA had more uh, LGBTQ activity and the SS was more regimented and cruel. But it was quite interesting. Oh, I have an old one that I'm using, but yeah, it sucks. So if you haven't watched that, it's it takes place in the 1920s, and it talks about how they started banning books that said things about gays and lesbians, trans. And then it talks about how women were supposed to be in the kitchen having babies, and they weren't supposed to be working, and they weren't supposed to be... Um, wearing pants, um, so they used, you know, those things, and that's why I keep saying history is repeating itself, because they're doing those things, okay, they're doing those things, again, in 2020 through 2024, so if you haven't watched that, it's a great documentary, go watch it, and keep the subtitles on, because part of it is in German, and you do have to read what they're saying. I think the reason that why MLM side job is big in the States is because you need the money just to survive. Yeah, Frenchie. Side gig, side hustle is huge in the United States. And um, and it's it's really depressing. Airedale, how are you doing? Uh, waiting for the new job, by the way. Um, Instacart, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Grubhub. I mean, uh, John Oliver did a thing about how the side gig economy is ripping off the restaurants and the people that work for them. I know the horror of woman in pants. <sighs> what would we do? So I'm using Smarty Pig plasma donation for our summer vacation. When we get back, I'll use it to pay student loans. 
Smart girl. And it's repeating. Yes, history is repeating, you guys, in the United States. Okay? Um, fascism will come with somebody who claims or has his followers believe that he is anointed by God. And he will use fear tactics and religious manipulation to gain control and power, just like Adolf Hitler did. And they will criminalize and marginalize and dehumanize people to gain the power. So like I said in that poem, when they, um, thank you, Julie, when they, you know, the poem or the, the quote, when they went after these people, I didn't say anything. When they went after this pe person, I didn't say anything because it wasn't me. When they went after this person, I still didn't say anything because it wasn't me. But when they came after me, there was nobody left to speak up for me. So when you see somebody dehumanizing, marginalizing, uh, taking away rights from somebody anywhere in this world, anywhere in this world, you need to stand up and say something. Because just like, you know, they keep saying and they keep saying that we're a judo Christian nation. Okay, if you if you practice Christianity, what's going to happen if you don't practice the right kind of Christianity? And, and I'm just throwing this out there to all of my Mormon friends in Utah. You believe in Christianity, you believe you're Christian. But if you are not paying attention, okay, if you are not paying attention, are you practicing the right kind of Christianity that has guns, power, control? You know, mind your P's and Q's. Start standing up for marginalized, dehumanized communities. Because if you don't, I think history will repeat and you will be next. So just be careful is all I have to say. I know this one, this took a, a pretty interesting rant, Rage. So um, I love this post. So she posted her, um, her rant. And I'm just going to put this up. She posted her rant about how she's done... We're going back to the beginning. How she's done with paparazzi. Okay. And she's not going to be a rat. So it was funny. Someone's like, this is the email you're going to get from paparazzi. So let me read it. It has come to our attention that you are representing paparazzi as well as ring bong party MLM in violation of the policies and procedures as follows. 5.15 non-solicitation. Consultants may not participate in other direct selling opportunities. Party planning, network marketing, and or multi-level marketing, whose primary product line offering competes with paparazzi accessories. This includes, but is not limited to, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, lanyards, headbands, or hair clips. If a consultant has a question about a particular company and whether or not it is a conflict, you can ask the compliance department. Okay? Failure to adhere to this policy and continued participation in the other company competing may result in disciplinary action. Wait a second, I thought you owned your own business. Okay, this may include suspension or termination of a consultant's account. In addition, during the term of the agreement and for 12 months after the termination, you will never be able to come back if you were canceled for any reason. Yeah, that's the kind of bullshittery that paparazzi continues to engage in. So let's look for denim. Flower necklace. All right. So here's here's your paparazzi denim flower right here. Okay. Do we need to do a side by side? I think so. So here's the paparazzi one. There's the denim flower. Here's the Timu one. Hi, Wendy. How you doing today? I noticed you got over 15 subscribers yesterday when we were doing your live. I was so proud of you. So there's that one. Here's another one. It's one or two piece set here. But I think one or two pieces. Two piece pack. 
So you can get a dark blue and a light blue denim for $3.39. So you can get two. And then we've got all this other stuff. Here's another one. Elongated blue denim. What I like about this is they show you different ways to wear it. All right, so there's one paparazzi piece that we saw go uh, sell out today. But look, you can easily get that on Timu as well. So, so who also believes he's Jesus? Yes, he believes, well, his followers believe he's been brought down by God and he's just taking their thing. But that's the other funny thing. Uh, the man they claim is so religious uh, instead of going to church on Easter Sunday, he spent the day tweeting or truthing every two minutes. He had 77 rage truths on Easter Sunday. Thought that was funny. Uh, if you own your business, how can pap paparazzi terminate and cancel you? Good question. I thought I own my own business. Nope, you don't. Wait, they get, they got a warning? Apparently, uh, Stephanie got a warning. Um... But that warning was immediately followed over um, with the cancellation. So you got a warning email and then they canceled you. Oh, you're over 30 now, Wendy. Good job. Okay. So insert the same picture from the office. We got to get you to a thousand, girlfriend. So, but your your video is really good. I need to start pre-recording and just playing it and watching it live with you guys. But I don't know how to do that. I should probably reach out to DC. <laughs> but I like doing this. I like, I like the live interaction with you guys and talking to you. Because I, for me, it feels more authentic and real. And I like being real and not perfect. Because that's just who I am. Oh my gosh, look, look, you guys, you can get a denim flower with bling. It's all about the bling, the bling, the paparazzi bling. Oh, 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 oh. In fact, I think I'm just going to do that real quick. Give me a second, you guys. <laughs> we got to turn on that bling song. Okay, let me get into my YouTube. <laughs> Cece is amazing. She is a great help. All right, so let's let's look at some stuff. Let's let's just play that bling. So give me a second to cue it up, because you know. <laughs> It's paparazzi bling. Available. I'm all about that bling. That On bling, that paparazzi bling. I'm all about that bling. That bling. That five dollar bling. But actually, it's less than five dollars. Less than five dollars in most cases. Paparazzi loves me. Others want to be me. Some admire, while others hate me. That bling. That bling. That five dollar bling. <laughs> Oh look, they have the bow I'm with the faucet and beads. For my bling. Who needs gold when I have bling? My papa rusty bling. Rusty bling. My five dollar bling. Did you guys know? Oh, this song has me in tears every time I hear it. But the other one that cracks me up so much is the uh This is the house. The house that bling bling. <laughs> it's like did, did, did you? That's, just, that's my thing. I was like, did you not hear how you sounded when you recorded this? That paparazzi bling. That five dollar bling. I'm all about that bling. The bling, that paparazzi bling. I'm all about the bling. The bling, the five dollar bling. Look at all that five dollar bling. It's so funny. I'm like, just. Oh, that house that Bling built. Do you guys, do you guys know the house that Bling built? I mean, 
<laughs> it's just bad. Here we're gonna put it up. It's a YouTube video, so anyone can watch it. Let's live react to it one more time because it's funny. Oh, look at all the iconic impressionistas. I'm so happy. This is one life. We're move on oval premiered. It's amazing how a lot of these people aren't active paparazzi consultants anymore. Including the person who wrote the song and the person in that picture. This song is so terrible. Is that supposed to be someone we know? Thank you guys for subbing to MLM. No. Yeah, in fact, I should probably put up a... MLM, no. In the comments, link your channel. And uh, just fair warning, uh, certain paparazzi bling bosses will probably reach out to you and ask if you want to do content on their behalf and turn them down. Uh, because... I don't know if you... Have you guys seen anything new come out from Bling Auntie? I, I'm concerned about her. She hasn't posted anything in a while. So, I hope she's okay. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of elite consultants are leaving. And what in the world was that song? That was the house that Bling bit, built by Shelly Alexander, former paparazzi consultant. Now she just does music. And it's fabulous. If it's so choice, if you have the means, I highly recommend you go to YouTube and listen and make your ears actually bleed. She has a whole album. It's just bad. So terrible. Ugh. So anyway, um... I gotta get ready for my doctor's appointment, you guys, so. I want to thank y'all for being here today, hanging out with me, having fun, looking at the Timu versus Paparazzi BS yet again. But as you can clearly see, they keep selling Timu stuff to you for more than $5. So, Paparazzi Consultants. As I showed you earlier, if you want a denim earring or a denim flowery thing, guess what? You can get it for less on Timu. It's sold out in your back office today, but you could easily go to Timu and pick up any one of these types of necklaces. Because guess what? If you look hard enough, you will find them. If you want Mother's Day jewelry, go and find it. MLM No, check out her channel. Uh, she did a whole thing about Traynaut uh, and their MLM math, and it was fabulous. Aradel, good luck with your new job, and I hope you have a great day. Monique, thank you for donating blood and saving lives. Thank you for donating plasma, plasma and saving lives. Frenchie, have fun in the most beautiful country I have ever visited, and next time I come over there, we need to get together. So take care, you guys. Mwah. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Love.